Hi guys, this is Rohit Tandon from the Team Grey Edge and in this video we are going to discuss about the key new features and enhancements in Revit Structure 2022. So listed here in front of you are some key new features and enhancements made in Revit Structure 2022. So without much ado, let's just start with the first feature which is associate steel connections with profile sizes. To demonstrate this feature over here, I'll just switch to this steel structure model over here where I'll just take an example of a base plate connection. So I'll just select this base plate here and I'll just click on edit type where we'll find a new parameter which is modify ranges of applicability. Now this parameter allows us to associate a particular size of the base plate with a particular section size of the column. Later on, we can create a Dynamo script and run the Dynamo script to place that particular size of the base plate to all the instances of that associated column. Over here, I have just created two types of the base plate. One is 600 by 450 type and the other is 600 by 600 type. I'll just select the 600 by 450 type over here. Now here I have already set the size of the base plate in the modify parameters edit option here. As of now, I'll just move to the modify ranges of applicability option here and I'll just click on edit. Now here I can just click on this new button to create a new range. I can just provide it with a new name and then I can just associate it with a particular section shape or I can associate it with a family and section name. If I just select the section shape option, I can just select the section shape here. If I switch to the family and section name, I can associate it with a family, I can associate it with a section name or I can even associate it with a particular material or we can also associate it with the member and forces of that column. So as of now, I have just created a range over here. I've just given it a name and I have associated it with this section name over here. I'll just click on cancel to come out of this dialog box. I'll just switch to the 600 by 600 type. I'll again just come to the modify ranges of applicability option there. For this also, I have just created a range and I have associated this with a section name over here as well. I'll just click on cancel to just come out of these dialog boxes over here. Now in Revit Structure 2022, we have been provided with some default Dynamo scripts as well with the help of which we can just place the connections in our model. So I'll just move to this Manage tab over here and in the Visual Programming panel, I'll just click on the Dynamo player here. So here we can notice that we have been provided with these different scripts which we can make use to place the connection in the model. As of now, I'm concerned with the base plate connection. So I'll just select the base plate by ranges option here or the script here and I'll just play this script. Now the script is just asking me to select the columns in which I just want to place the base plate. So I'll just select this option here and I'll just come to the Revit model and I'll just select the columns here. So I'll just make use of the window selection over here to just select these columns. Once the columns have been selected, I'll again just play this script here. So now once the script has been completely played, we can just see that the base plates are placed at their appropriate position. So I'll just close this Dynamo player over here and I can just check for the base plates that have been placed. So we can just see that the size that we had associated with that section has been placed over here. Now moving on, the next feature here is edit rebar in a rebar set. So to demonstrate this, I'll just switch to this concrete structure model over here where we'll just concentrate on this beam here. So here we can notice that there's this firefighting pipe that is just crossing through that beam and it is clashing with the stirrup rebars in that beam over here. So now if I just want to do away with this clash, what I can do is I can just select this rebar set over here. I can come to the ribbon where we have this edit bars option now available in Revit structure 2022. So I can just click on this edit bars option over here. This allows me to now individually access these bars over here. So I can just select any of these bars here. So I'll just try and reposition this. I'll just select this bar over here and I can just re size the or again give the spacing or change the spacing between these rebars here so i'll just try and change the spacing over here also if required i can just do away with a particular rebar as well so if i just want to do away with this rebar i can also just simply click on remove bar to just remove that rebar from here as well if required i can again just change the spacing for this as well once done i can just simply click on finish and this just clears off the clash over here. 
Now later on if this pipe is just moved below the beam I can again just select this rebar set and I can again just click on reset all to just reset this rebar set as well. So this is how we can just edit the rebars individually in a rebar set. Moving on the next feature is place rebar by two points method. So now we can just make use of the two points method to place a rebar as well. I'll again just demonstrate this on this same structure model over here. In this I'll just come to the foundation level floor plan view and I'll just try and place rebars in this foundation here. So I'll just select this foundation. I'll just click on the rebar option here and now we can see that we have this by two points option now available in the ribbon. I don't want to see this tooltip so I'll just switch off this tooltip from here. I can from the rebar shape browser I'll just select the appropriate shape that I just want to place so I'll just select this shape here. I can then just simply give the two points. Now before giving these two points I can also just decide whether I want to place the bars horizontally or vertically so I'll just start with horizontal option and I'll just give the two diagonal points over here. Once done, I'll just switch to the vertical option and I'll just again give these two points once again to create the vertical bars as well. I can now just select these bars and I can just adjust for their spacing and I can also just set the 3D view visibility of the bars as well. Uh, I'll just select this spacing and I'll just switch to the proper option over here. I can now just move on. I'll just select this bar here and I'll just adjust for its spacing over here as well. I'll just select this bar here and adjust for this spacing once again. I can now just move to the 3D view and here we can just check for the rebars to be placed over here. Now moving on the next feature over here is model rebar diameter. So again I'll just switch back to the same model over here again I'll just come back to the foundation level floor plan view over here I'll just concentrate on this column here where we have this stirrup placed. Now many of times we have just come across this situation that wherever we place a bar, rebar in a particular element we don't have enough space to place that exact rebar over here. In that case we require that we can just place a smaller size of that rebar over here. So if you just want to do any such thing I can now in Revit Structure 2022 just select that particular rebar. This is of 13M dia. I can just switch to the edit type here or come to the edit type here where I'll find a new parameter which is model bar diameter. I can set its size over here to display it in the model. So I'll just use a smaller dia over here and I'll just click on OK. So this just reduces the display size of the rebar in the model over here. The actual size is same but only the display has been changed over here. So this is again a new feature that has been added here. Now moving on the next option is match coupler size with the rebar type. Again I'll just switch back to the same view. Let's just try and place the coupler over here in the column. So here we have these two rebars which are of 25 mm dia and I just want to place the coupler between them. So I'll just come to the reinforcement panel. I'll just click on rebar coupler here. I have selected the coupler size of 13 M dia here but still I can just select these two rebars over here and Revit automatically will match the dia of the couplers and place the exact or the required coupler type over here. So this was functionality which was not available in previous versions but now in this version we do not need to take care about the dia of the coupler. We can just select the two bars and place the coupler. Revit will take care of the dia there. Now moving on the last feature over here is the tapered wall. So now we can create tapered walls in Revit as well. So again in the same model I'll just try and create a tapered wall for this retaining wall over here. So I'll just select this wall type. I just need to go to its edit type where in the structure edit I'll just switch on this variable option here. I can click on OK and come out of the dialog boxes. In the cross section parameter over here I can just switch from vertical to tapered. Once this is done I can then just switch on the angle overrides over here and I can just provide it with any particular angle that is required. And here we can notice that Revit just provides a taper to that particular wall. So for retaining walls we can just make use of this tapered option over here. So this just brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and keep watching in this space for more such videos.